Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on this little 1970 Chevelle Camino. The main problem with this unit is it's missing its little blower scoop and I don't have anything that's going to work for that and it's a little bit banged up. So we're going to be working on this bad boy today and uh, yeah, let's get started. I already took this apart a while ago and it had some serious, serious drag tires on the back. Look at the size of these booties that came with it. Blub, 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 blub. I would like to use these again. They're not in bad shape. They got a little bit of rim, a little bit of curb rash on some of the rims, especially the fronts. These are kind of messed up, but we're going to see if we can clean them up. Hopefully use them again. It shouldn't be too bad. Blah, 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 blah. How does this look? Hell yeah, stick shift. That's what I like to see. It's a little bit of a fantasy model. You can see just how tall this body is. They got a little bit of extra meat on the bottom here and it's got some side exits. So we'll work around that. Hopefully we can make this into a pretty cool little custom for the shelf. I was thinking we might continue with the fantasy theme and put another one of those big blowers on here. Nice paint and it should be cool. We'll save this. Save this for another day. Maybe I could 3D print a little intake that would be appropriate for this or find something on another car maybe. But this is a nice little nice little housing so I'm going to keep that for sure. But I was thinking for this car, I got one of these big blowers again. And since it is kind of a fantasy casting with how thick this is, I think that would be cool. If you were looking for one of these castings, I think the best bet would probably be eBay right now, so. Whoa. You know what? Maybe on this one we should do some flames. We haven't done flames in a while. That might be cool. I'm going to clean this up with some Scotch-Brite as always. Thinking flames. Black. Low to the ground because it does have this extra skirting on it. We'll see what happens when we get to that point. But I will do a black candy. Alright, the little El Camino is nice and clean. Now I'd like to start working on the hood. Make some room for our big blower. Got a pretty good size hole in there already, so it's going to be pretty easy to just finish this off. Just need some room for this belt pulley, so I'm going to marker that out. There we go. Things absurd but at the same time I like it no sense trying to make this realistic so we might as well go crazy with it so we got a big huge motor stuffed in there we're getting close anyways so I'm gonna tidy up this hole a little bit and then uh, I think we can go ahead and go to the spray booth so I got our car ready to go uh, I plan on doing a black candy but I am gonna take this opportunity to experiment so I'm going to use a red sealer I want to see if it's possible to see the red sealer through the black candy under light. Probably not, but I'm going to try it anyways. It says we're going to reduce with our 4012 reducer about 25% of the volume. Red primer, you're crazy. Well, let's try it out.
All right, this is more experimentation on my part. We're gonna do uh, a dusting of Quicksilver over our red sealer to try to help give the candy that little bit of depth you need when you're doing it. So this is normal, but usually you do it over gloss black. So don't do what I'm doing. I'm just trying something out. Hold my beer. So what I'm hoping might happen accidentally is we might end up with like a like a black cherry color because this is pretty purple and you need to add a little bit of red to this this black in order to get black cherry maybe maybe this would do it you know so that's why I wanted to experiment if we just end up with black I'm good with that So what I've done is I masked out some flames. Going to go pretty basic with this. I'm going to lightly fade in a silver from the wheel well here and keep it pretty light. Being on black it's going to show up a lot but we'll see. All right let's try to do this. I'm going to just do it over here since we're using very very small amount of paint. But I will be using my mask so. These little vinyl masks a buddy of mine printed out for me on his plotting machine. Circuit printer, if you know what I'm talking about. So I plan on keeping this pretty dark looking. I put a little bit of silver into our lower kind of running lights and I plan on tinting them orange. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. So I'd say our car is looking pretty awesome at this point. It looks super tough. I think there are a couple things I am gonna paint on the engine just to give, give it a little bit more character. This front pulley, you know, is gonna be aluminum. And I'll probably do the fuel rails up on top here. And for that, I need a teeny little brush. Since the engine's in already, you can imagine that it is going to get clear coated. So all this little stuff I color up right now is going to be sealed up in there forever. I like it. It's cool. I think that's all I'm going to do. To keep it simple. I'm going to go ahead and clear coat the car and we'll uh, get working on that base. For the most part these wheels are in pretty nice shape. I'm going to give them a light dusting with some Quicksilver just to get rid of this curb rash on these front ones. The back ones look kind of crazy just because they have these uh, big huge boot tires so the rims are really weird but I'm going to give those a light spray too, just to keep them matching.
So I've got her base put back together. Wheels are looking pretty sweet. This one's still kind of banged up, but there isn't too much I can do with that. Interior looking good. I just did a couple little details, nothing crazy. Car is looking awesome. But I will leave that for the end. Very nice. This is going to be cool. I think you guys are really going to like this one. I absolutely love this car. I hope you guys are into this. Check this out. Look at this baby. Oh my god. Let's get this up on a rotisserie so we can appreciate it properly. Overall, I say it turned out pretty good. Can't complain about much except for the dust that's sticking to it. It's just dust. The paint turned out really nice. Super shiny, super glossy. A little teeny bit of sparkle. And when you put the lights right up to it, I cannot see that red sealer through the black candy. And I probably did four coats of candy or so. Uh, I'm out of these big blowers now, so I gotta find a new place to get them or maybe even print them myself. So leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Check out the merch if you wanna get a sweater. It's a really good way to support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Boop.